Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to conduct a hypothesis test for a mean difference in paired data. Um, and in this particular demonstration, we are going to be inputting raw data, right? And we'll be doing this with Minitab. Okay, so um, I'm going to do this within the context of this example. This is example two from chapter 9.1. I have some cholesterol levels before and after for 10 men diagnosed with high cholesterol. So these are their before readings, and these are the after, after one year of taking a certain drug, right? And so there's a difference for each. So this is the same person. That's why it's paired. This is the same person before and after, before and after. And these are the differences down here, right? And so what we're claiming, or what we're, we're, we're testing our claim, that the population mean difference is greater than 20, right? Greater than 20. And if you look at the actual um, mean, and you wouldn't necessarily have this, you see that the mean difference is 32. So that, that's pretty high above 20. So, so we, th we think we might have a pretty good shot at supporting our claim. Okay, so we're going to do this with mini tab. And so we're going to go over to our mini tab window here. And I'm going to follow this first sequence of events where I go to the stat button basic statistics, paired T. And the first thing we get to do is choose whether we're using summarized data or each sample is in a column. And so in this case, we're going to use raw data where each sample is in a column. And that sample looks like this. Oh, sorry, i got to move that out of there. It looks like this data over here. There's the before values. They're, in, they're each in their own column, right, before and after. And if you want to get before and after into here, because you have to get these um, column titles before, as soon as you click inside one of these windows, and you really have to click in there before your options appear. And so let's see, I have before. So um, I'm going to select that, and notice that goes over into the before, or into the sample one. And then sample two, I'm going to go over to after and select that. So sample one is before, sample two is after. Those reference the columns in this um, data sheet. And now I'm going to go to my options. Um, this confidence level is for a confidence interval that it produces at the end, but we're not really interested in that. We're interested in the hypothesis test. And here the hypothesized difference is 20, right? We're saying that the um, mean difference before and after is greater than 20. All right, so we put that in for our hypothesized difference. And then we get to choose whether this is less than, or whether the difference is less than that, not equal to, or greater than. And those um, correspond to left tail, two tail, and right tail tests. But we're doing a right tail test here. We're hypothesizing that the difference is actually greater than 20. All right, so once we have that in there, we click OK. We click OK again. and Minitab produces um, a little extra information. It first us gives us the, um, the statistics for each sample. That's the before, right? And this is the after. And right? we get the mean standard deviation. It also gives us the standard error of the mean. And it also gives us the statistics for the differences. So the mean difference is 32. And the standard deviation of differences is 15.43, which we do have over here, just uh, fortunately, to check. Uh, but what we're really interested in is um, the results of the, the hypothesis test. So we're testing that the mean is greater than 20, right, versus greater than 20. The test statistic is given here. The t-value is 2.46. But what we're really interested in is the p-value, 0 0.018, right? And so depending on our significance level, um, we might reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. If we have a significance level of 0.05, then good, we'd reject the null hypothesis. If we had a significance level of 0.01, we would not. Um, but suppose we had a significance level of 0.05, then this would be good. We would get to reject our null hypothesis and conclude that the population mean difference is, in fact, greater than 20. Right? So it's easy to do. You just got to get your sample data in two columns and uh, pull that into Minitab and conduct a uh, paired t-test. All right, we're done. Bye.